What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about looping. Is it something you like to do? Let's get into it right after this. Hey everybody, how you doing? Joe for the Joe Wentz Project. And today I was wanting to go over um, doing some looping. Doing some looping, man. I don't I don't do that a whole lot. Really, I bought this looper. It by the way, it's a boss RC3 loop pedal. I think it's one of the um lower tiers of this whole looping deal. Um I know a few people I've seen on YouTube have uh, quite a few looping pedals. Uh, Rock and Dave Byron for one has that. Check him out uh, in the description below if you haven't checked out his channel. Uh, his link is below in the description along with some others. Uh, but he really blows my mind with the way he loops as well. Um, there's a lot going on there. And I've seen other people that really have some great looping skills, man. And I'm not one of those people. I just, uh, I really got this loop pedal to try to help me um, learn the fretboard a little bit more. And that's something I'm still working on. And I'm sure I'm going to keep working on it for a long time, long time. Um, but as you can see here, here's my pedal board. And we'll start with the Boss RC3 and work our way to the right. And um, so it's just, you know, it's uh, this is pretty much where the main sound comes from. Uh, right there at the, the Zoom G1X4, of course. I've talked about that plenty of times. But... Um, I'm going to do this little loop. Uh, it's really just in the key of A, and it stays like that. So I was watching some videos uh, recently where people were saying um, you should find uh, quite a few places on the neck to do certain, it doesn't matter, certain runs or certain uh, different, uh, not different, but if you do some notes down here, you should be able to do them here, here. Uh, all over really and it's something I still struggle with um, trying to stay out of that box pattern much as I can if at all possible and it's tough man because it makes you uh, you, you got to really pay attention you know you can't just sit there and stay in one spot and you can do that for a second but uh, after a little bit man it gets pretty bland pretty quick um, so uh, that's why I got the loop pedal. I was hoping it would help me with that, and it has. It just—it's just the more time you put in it, the the smoother things will get, just like anything else. Um, and I got that uh, additional foot switch, that Boss uh, FS5U, to help. So when I just press on that foot switch, it cuts it off. It stops the loop from playing. Uh, if I didn't have that foot switch, I'd have to step on the loop pedal twice to make it stop and that's just that's just too much going on for me um so i went ahead and got the additional foot switch and it just makes it easier and a lot cleaner to uh, stop a loop um you can build pretty good loops with this i mean it's i'm not an expert on looping at all it took me the longest time to get the timing right to uh, start a loop and when to stop it and you know to layer something else golly so my hats off to people like Rock and Dave Byron who can do that live. I mean, he just he on the on the, off the cuff, just right there on the spot. And I was like, damn, you know. So there's more to it than what people may think, you know. Um, of course, what I'm doing, what you're about to watch in this next clip, is not as simple. It's nothing to it. Um, again, the main reason I did this loop is to uh, try to help me on the fretboard you know and that's it's it's a great tool for that i mean it really is um saves time and it's convenient um but anyway uh leave some comments below do you have a loop pedal do you like looping i mean i'm like i said i'm just scratching the surface with it tell you the truth i've done some really minimal things with it in the past i haven't really embellished on it um uh, but let me know do you uh do you like looping have you ever messed with it do you think it's a good thing do you think it's a bad thing you know um if you haven't messed with a loop pedal man if you know somebody that has one or if you want to spend some money and get one i mean it all it can do is help you know the more you use it the better you're going to get like i said earlier 
I think that pedal cost me um the uh, Boss Loop pedal there. I think it was a uh, like a hundred and seventy eight dollars or something. It was uh, it was just under two hundred bucks. Um, of course, they have bigger ones that you can that are a lot more smooth. I think uh, Jimmy from Guitar Meet Science he's he's really good with he's really good with his looping. I like how he can uh, stop the drums and leave the rhythm going and the bass is going and then the drums can kick back in or it's just the bass and the drum. It's really cool, man. I've talked to him a couple of times about what he's using that I can't remember exactly what uh, product he's using, but it's, it's really smooth. It's really cool. Um, so if you watch those guys and you watch what I'm doing, mine, my, <laughs> what I'm doing ain't shit. It's just really just basic, but I'm just doing it, like I said, to try to help me. Um, so, you know, we'll see. You know, we'll, just, we'll keep messing with it from time to time. I don't have any plans on upgrading uh, the loop pedal. I don't, I'm, I've never been a big looper, if that's even, a, if, that, if, that, if, literally, if that's even right. <laughs> I can't talk today. Um, so anyway, let's get on with the clip. I don't want to make this too long. I uh, hope you're having a great Memorial Day. Uh, I'll be heading to work here in a couple hours, so it's just another day for me. Until next time, this is Joe for the Joe Wentz Project, where guitar is still live and breathe, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care. Bye-bye.